Let us see what you say. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes. I do man. I'm fine. Is that Sheikh? Uh... Sheikh Abdul Wadud. Welcome, Sheikh Abdul Wadud. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good. How are you, man? I'm all right. Are you good? I'm very good. So I've been told by uh, one of your students you want to call me and explain to me something about the Quran, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, you want to explain it. All right, that's wonderful. So uh, what about the Prophet Muhammad? He uh, recited that the three daughters of Allah, it is a must to ask them to, for intercession, and he bowed down to them. What do you say about that? He never bowed down to them. What he did was mm -hmm. that uh, at the time of, uh, you know, before the Prophet of uh, Muhammad, is the opponent, the people, what they are doing, they are worshipping not a long mm. So, Messenger Muhammad, mm. is the opponent, was sent to tell them to not worship not a long okay. and to worship only one Allah. Mm. But this is not what Islamic source says, my friend. The Quran says in chapter 22, verse number 52, that shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses and then uh, all the reference says that Muhammad the prophet of Islam when he was reciting the chapter of An-Najm he said that those are Manat and Allah Al-Uzza the three daughters of Allah their intercession is a must and he bowed down and all the pagan bowed down behind him and even the pagan they said we never saw a prophet uh, 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 like uh, uh, praising our gods as this before. So your prophet, he bowed down, and the pagan, they bowed down to the three daughters of Allah, and your prophet, he mentioned their names. Do you hear me shake? As I, as I told you, that at that time, if you know the history of Arab, mm. those people, they were worshipping Latin and Uzza at that time. Mm -hmm. Allah was telling them to not worship. Hmm. Yeah, I know that. But why Why Muhammad, he bowed down with them? You see, I have a story written by you Muslims, not by me. You see? Okay, bring the, bring the history in front of me so I can see it. Okay, do you see the screen? Do you see my screen? Just wait a minute. My student is working on it. Okay. Okay, this is Asabi Nuzul by Al-Wahide. Do you speak Arabic, Sheikh? Yeah, I do. Yeah, let's see what. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let me highlight for you so you can see. It says okay. here, you know. Uh, so when the messenger he was reciting, he revealed to Muhammad uh, to him Surat an Najm by the star when it's Seth, Surah uh, chapter 53. The messenger of Allah bless him and give him peace recited, recited it. But when he reached, uh, uh, have ye uh, thought upon the Allah and Al Uzza and Manat, the third, the other? Uh, chapter 53 verse number 19 to 20 the devil put in his tongue that he had secretly wished and hoped for and said these are the mighty grands the Garanik and their intercession is to be hoped and then when Quraysh heard him saying that when Quraysh they heard this they, they were very pleased and the Messenger of Allah, bless him and give him peace, uh, uh, carried on reciting until the end of the surah. And then he prostrated, and the Muslims followed, uh, and they prostrate. And all the idolaters, they are prostrated uh, there too. And those all that were present, whether they are uh, uh, believers or disbelievers, all of them, they bow down together, except a man, his name is Al-Walid, because he was an old man. So your source, my friend, saying clearly that your prophet, he worshipped the three daughters of Allah. He granted them prayer 
and he was teaching, claiming that Allah taught him to say that the three daughters of Allah, they are to worship and ask for intercession. What do you say? If you look at the, uh, the translation, right? The translation is telling you, hmm. the messenger of Allah, Allah bless him, hmm. give peace and care on reciting the end of the surah. So that means that he was reciting Quran and he went to sajda to Allah. He didn't do sajda to the Latin Uzzah. Yeah, but he mentioned already, already, he mentioned that Allah and al three he acknowledged them as their intercession is a must. And then he bowed down at the end, no problem. That, the, that yes. was the problem. The that was the problem at that time that the Mushrikin in Makkah, mm -hmm. they were worshipping, they were worshipping Latin Uzzah. And your prophet, he worshipped them, as you see, he mentioned their name. He was, he was reciting the mm. verses of Quran. Okay, what he said, what he said, he said that the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. Right? So, your that prophet... Was, that was the must for the mushrikin in Makkah. Yeah, but he is the one who said that. He is the one he who said, said... He said that was the must for the mushrikin in Makkah. No, 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 so he did not, no, 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 he did not say it's a must for the mushrikin. He was reciting chapter of the Quran. He was not reciting... What, what what they believe he was reciting Quran, chapter of An-Najm. So he was mm -hmm. reciting An-Najm and he inserted he inserted in An-Najm that the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. It's, he is not saying, don't say that he was saying it's a it's a must for them. That is that is not true, my friend. That is not to fabricate. Don't fabricate things something your prophet did not say. It's not, it's not fabricated, brother. Okay. I think you have a lot of questions about Islam. Mm -hmm. I think you 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 are um you are questioning Islam by so much that uh, you have read everything mm -hmm. good. So that's uh, well done for you. Mm -hmm. You have read it, but you have not read it with a scholar of Islam. Mm -hmm. So you need to sit with a scholar and learn from them mm -hmm. to teach you the mm -hmm. Quran and, and Hadith in detail. Okay. So you can what Quran and Hadith really is about. Mm -hmm. So you're asking me now to go and uh, learn from the scholars. I thought you are a scholar, you are a sheikh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying okay. to you. So as long as you are a sheikh, why you are changing what is written there? It says that the Prophet, he said, that the three daughters of Allah, the Gavarnik, their intercession is a must. At the end, he bowed down, and all the pagan they want to bow down together. And not only that, the people of Quraysh, they said, we never heard Muhammad creating our gods as much as good as today. So here we go. He greeted them. He said their intercession is a must. And he bowed down at the end, which means he bowed down for whatever he said. Whatever he said in that chapter, he bowed down and he started worshipping. He said that the three daughters are included in his prayer. He, he prayed, he's saying, reciting Quran, and then he says the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. And then at the end, he bowed down. He bowed down for what? For every word he said before he bowed down. So, yes, he bowed down to the idols, the three daughters. And as you see, even the, the Quraysh, all, suddenly all of them together, they are worshipping the same God. And not only that, they said, Muhammad, he never mentioned our gods as good as today before. And this is why people, they thought that more Muslims and, uh, and the Arab, they became united because now they are worshipping the same God. And it is Allah and it is the daughter of Allah. So don't tell me, go and ask the scholars. You, can, you claim to be a scholar, and this is a scholar. The one is talking here is a scholar, by the way. This is Asbab al-Nuzul. This is not my book. Asbab al-Nuzul, Abdul Wahidi. So the thing is that you need to sit face-to-face -face with a scholar and have your question, you know, in front of him. Mm. You are saying in this ayat, Surah Najar, ayat number 19, that... Have you ever considered the idols of Latin Uzza? Mm. And then about the other, the third, and the Manat, mm. then is, is it the you that you have male and female, he Allah has females, mm. and it's so it's totally unjust division. Mm. And after that, there is nothing but the names you and your forefather have invited. Allah has sent down no authority attached to them. They are the following nothing but conjunction and what their soul desire while guidance from their Lord Lord mm. surely reach them. Yeah, but but the question, my friend, the Quran saying it's now that Shaitan Yeah, but the Shaitan, the Quran, the Hadith says, the Quran says that Shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad satanic verses, correct? 
Shaitan was trying to do that, but Muhammad no. never listened. No, 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 not trying. No, no, no. My friend, let us be honest. The, 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 the statement in the front of you, where it says he was trying, he wasn't trying, he was successful. As you see, it says here, the devil, he threw in his tongue. He threw already, and your prophet recited that. He did not try, it was successful. Your prophet, he said, that the, the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is to be hoped for. So he was not a trying, he did. The, when the messenger, read carefully with me, my friend, okay? Read carefully, please. When he arrived reciting Allah and Uzza and Manad, the third, he, the, the devil, let us read together, the devil put in on his tongue what he had secretly wished and hoped for, which means the devil he wished for. These are the mighty grants, the granite, and their intercession is to be hoped for. So your prophet, he said, what the devil he put in his tongue said that and everybody heard him that the three daughters of Allah Allah and Manat and Uzza their intercession is a must and hope for so your prophet recite, recited satanic verses and not only that you will see in the same page you will see that the angel later angel Jibreel came to Muhammad and he said to him those, those verses you recited before is not from Allah here we go at the evening read with me carefully at the evening jibreel peace be upon him went to the messenger of allah uh, allah bless him and give him peace and said what have you done you recited to people that which is did not bring from allah glory is to he and you said what he did not what i did not say to you so my friend don't tell me that satan was trying Shaitan was able and he was successful and even Jibreel he came to Muhammad and he said to him what you have done Go ahead my friend answer So it, 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 if you know that most of the past here of the Quran that mm -hmm. you know there is not most sometimes they're not recommended by other scholars Uh-huh you, you, you know about this what is, what is the one you recommend for me as long as this one is not recommended uh, I'll recommend a wonderful Quran by my student, he's telling me to make it easy for which one? For which, the, one? which one? Which one? Which one? And by Mufti Muhammad. Uh, this is a this is a new. Are you Ahmadiyya or something? This is a new. Those are any scholars. Do, who are those scholars? Those are not scholars. I never heard of them. So you are saying to me, it's Imam it's like Al Wahidi, Al Tabari, Al Tabari, the real Imams are not considered by you, but a guy who was just born yesterday, he made a book, and this is the, the this is the one who will explain the Quran to us. Don't you think that this is a hypocrisy? It's not hypocrisy. So why, how but you don't accept the original the scholars? How come now this, this guy, you are calling him Mufti? He learned his religion from who? From those scholars. So how now he can explain the Quran better than them? Better than them. Why, you, how, you how, how, so he, how, good. how, 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 is what, he is so good. So now what we will do with this, are you saying that this guy, he, what, what can you read for me what this guy, he said about this verse? Okay. You, okay, go ahead. What your scholar, yeah. he said. He's saying that we did not send any messenger Allah says mm. you are not our prophet. He faced a situation that when he recited the revelation, the satanic cast doubts about what he recited. The satanic people or those people who are worshipping mm. not in order. Okay? So Allah nullifies what the satan cast, then Allah makes his verses from Allah is unknowing and unwise. This is an interpretation now? He did not, he did, he did not, he did, he did not give interpretation. He's just quoting the verse again. I mean, this is funny. How this can be interpretation? He's just oh, my friend. Okay, I, I, will, I will go. I will go with this funny interpretation because he did not give interpretation. He did not give interpretation. Secondly, you just admitted that shaitan he cast in the mouth of Muhammad and Allah will delete it. What Allah deleted from mouth of Muhammad? What Allah deleted? Not send any messenger before you know the it doesn't matter it doesn't matter this case this case here is about muhammad oh, my friend no problem no problem don't, don't, my, my friend each time i talk to you you start reading from zero i look like you know we have a machine talking to us my friend i'm asking you a friendly please a friendly the, the verse saying the verse saying and you quote for me and i heard you that he said that shaitan cast cast okay shaitan cast what exactly can you quote for us what he cast in the mouth of muhammad the satan cast doubts about what he recited what he recited can you tell me 
sila dati ang dewa dewa dating Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is not the question, my friend. This is not the question. You just said shaitan he cast in the mouth of Muhammad. The question is, what he cast in the mouth of Muhammad? Can you tell me the words? About what he recited? Yes, about what he cast. What, what the shaitan cast? Allah will take it off, correct? Okay, but what he cast? What the shaitan said to Muhammad? As you, you said in Surah Al Najm that Latinuzza was the was the people of of Quraysh that were worshiping Latinuzza at that time. This is not the question. So, this is not the question. My friend, I don't know what's wrong with Muslims. The second we ask them a question, they go in panic mood. I'm asking you, friendly, what what the Shaitan, what the Satan told Muhammad when he was speaking? What Satan made Muhammad? What he threw in his tongue? What is the sentence? Can you quote the, the sentence for us? So the Satan they put. Nothing in the mouth of Muhammad. They were there in, the, in the mouth of Muhammad. They were trying to uh, put something of Latin. Also. Where you are getting this from? I mean, what what do you mean trying? The, the, it says there that he, the, even the Quran says, Shaitan cast. Allah will take it off. Not a trying. Who trying? It is Shaitan. He cast in the mouth of Muhammad. Muhammad is from the satanic people, or he is a prophet. He is a prophet supposedly. So the the Quran confirmed that Allah cast in his mouth. Why you are changing the words? I'm asking you, my friend. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. First of all, first of all, when you say to me, you, you hear me? You hear me? When you say to me that they are trying, you are you are corrupting the Quran. The Quran says it clearly that Allah will take what Shaitan cast in the Quran, not in the book of the pagan. The pagan is not. They are not following Allah anyway. They don't have a book. Come on. The verse says clearly, whatever Shaitan he cast. Allah will take it off. Take it off from where? From the Quran, not from the book of the of the pagan. The book of the pagan. You don't have a book. Okay. Uh, so that the Quran, the Quran. Do you have do you have first the concept of God? Can you explain the concept of God to us? The concept of God? Which one? In, yeah. in Islam? No, no. The concept of God uh, of Christians. Why do you want to change the topic? We'll go because the thing is, at first you don't know uh, what to follow and what not to follow. Really, and you are the one who knows what to follow, what not to follow. Yeah. Okay. If you know how to follow and what to follow, why your prophet he kisses stone? For me, my God, he said, you asked me about the concept of God. It says, don't make images what is in heaven or in the sky, and not to worship anything except God. How Muhammad he kiss a black stone? Is that the concept of God to kiss a stone and to believe that it's a holy stone? Is that a prophet of God who says to him that I am going to protect you and you are masoom? And then we see that Muhammad receiving satanic verses. Is that the concept of God to say that God is one? And then you say shahada, which is contained the name of Muhammad and the name of Allah. How that can be one, but yet two on the same line, associating the knowledge of God and the knowledge of Muhammad. You say Muslims, you say Allah and his prophet knows best. You're associating the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. How you say that God is one, but knowledge of Muhammad is equal to Allah knowledge. How you say that God is one, but Allah, he wrote the name of Muhammad in his throne. How you say that the name of God and you say Allah is one God. But then you say to me that Allah, he says, if when I take a partner, I will take it from our kind. How Allah is going to take a partner from his kind? Can you answer me? Okay. Now the mic is mine, right? Go ahead. Okay. So at first you said the black stone. Hmm. The black stone, as if you know, that there was a fight at the time of Quraysh, mm -hmm. where Prophet, peace be upon him, he, he took all the leaders of the mm -hmm. Quraysh and took the stone towards the Kaaba mm -hmm. and placed it there. And people would go around the Kaaba, make the wall of the Kaaba and kiss it. Okay. Right? Okay. So your Prophet is so, following the pagan, you mean? He is just kissing it the same as the pagan before him? So, as you, if you know that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he became prophet at the age of forty. Okay. He became he was a Nabi before from mm. his birth, but he became a Rasul at the time of age of forty. Mm. Okay. When he was go, when he would go around the Kaaba, he would cast the stone because the, this stone came straight from Jannah. Mm -hmm. As if you know that this stone was whiter, mm. whiter than the milk, and people because people kissing it, it became black. Hmm. And because most of the Muslims nowadays they kiss it because they kiss it because of, for the love of Rasulullah. Hmm. Okay. Can I make a comment, please? Can I make a comment? Okay. Can I make a comment? Yes. yes. Okay. So you just said to me that you Muslims you kiss you kiss it because the Prophet kiss it. But why the Prophet kiss it? Okay. 
So our prophet, peace be upon him, he kissed it because it was made by Allah in Jannah. Okay, Even but you just said to me, my friend, hold on, but you, just, but you just said to me, but you just said to me, we kiss it just because the prophet kiss it, which means you are saying, we don't kiss it because Allah, he made it, we kiss it just because the prophet kiss it, everybody heard you. And that is a contradiction, because if you are just kissing it because Muhammad kiss it, not because of anything you know, the else. Of the Quran, Allah, wa okay, no, it doesn't say actually, Atiyu Allah wa Atiyu Rasul only, it says, Atiyu Rasul wa Atiyu Allah. Which mean obey Muhammad first and then you obey Allah, correct? Okay. So how so if you know the if you know the ayah, Yes, so you, how so how you say how you say so, Muhammad is a prophet when you when the Quran says you have to obey Muhammad first before you obey Allah? So huh? that, that's that, that's the command of God. It's a command of God comes you have to How I know that this is the command, command of God. If God tells how, you to first follow Jesus and mm. then follow God. My friend, would you, how would I you know that this is the God? command of God and why God, he says, obey a man first and then obey me. Shouldn't say obey me only because a man is a sinner and he can do bad stuff. Is Muhammad God? He don't do any mistakes. How you say to you, how he say to you, obey Muhammad and then obey Allah. And why Muhammad first and then Allah second? How Allah can became second before? And, if, you can, if you know that all the messengers of God, they are all Muslim, they don't have any sin. They are, they that, are sinless. That's not, that's not true, my friend. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah, he forgave Muhammad for the past sin and the coming sin? So are you saying to me, Allah, he did lie in the Quran? Listen first. Um, you want to listen to me, or you want to keep on because you're. I'm, listen, I'm listening, my friend, but you are making a contradiction. I have to make a point before you change your mind, because it says in chapter forty-eight, verse number two, "May Allah forgive to you your sin in the past and your sin in the coming time." So how you say to me, Muhammad is masoom, but the Quran confirm that Muhammad Allah, is a sinner. Allah is telling through the mouth of our, our prophet, he's telling us that Allah will forgive the sins of those who accept Islam. No, the that's not true. The... Not true. Not true, my friend. Chapter 48, verse number 2, is speaking specifically about Muhammad. So please, if you are a sheikh, you know, I, ex I accept from you a decency and honesty, not lies. Are you fabricating that, that, that interpretation for the verse, making it about the Muslims? This is about Muhammad himself, not about anyone else. Why you are, my friend, changing the meaning? I don't want to say the word liar. I, I, you know, I promise myself to speak to your respect. But this is absolutely false what you said to me. This verse only about Muhammad. Who are you talking about? Chapter 40, verse number 2. 48, verse number 2. Okay. Hmm. 